breakdown of over three lengths to Sackville. Pearl Braxton out jumps Fox Chapel King there. And a break of three lengths to Sackville, followed by Rinka Ree, dual winner of this race, then Harbour Pilot alongside first gold. And B for Salmon is the back marker of the seven as they come down towards the sixth. Colonel Braxton and Fox Chapel King together. As they swing into the straight and start the approach to the seventh. Fox Chapel King on the rail with Colonel Braxton alongside. And they show by about four lengths to Sackville. Rinka Ree in the striped colours in fourth. Harbour Pilot in the red jacket with the black sash. And then the J.P. McManus colours of first gold and B for Salmon at the back of the field. Rising to the seventh, Colonel Braxton jumps it better than Fox Chapel King. Second time he's out jumped Fox Chapel as they come up now past the stands with uh, a full circuit ahead of them and Colonel Braxton and Norman Williamson leading Fox Chapel King in second, Sackville in third. Harbour Pilot, the noseband, alongside is Rinka Ree and behind these is first goal. And the other nose-banded horse, B for Salmon, is the back marker of the seven as they go past the stands. Fox Chapel King and Colonel Braxton continue to dispute, followed in third place by Sackville, Harbour Pilots in fourth. Rinka Ree is five, first gold six, and seven and last is B for Salmon, but they're tightly grouped as they go away towards the eighth. Just a sensible pace in the testing conditions as they rise to the eighth. Colonel Braxton, the leader. Just a minor uh, error by first goal. Didn't lose any ground as they come now towards the ninth and left of the picture, Colonel Braxton from Fox Chapel King. Sackville is just behind them and they're followed by Harbour Pilot and then Rinka Ree, first goal. And B for Salmon brings up the rear. All safely over. And starting the turn into the back straight, they have another eight fences to jump. Six of them coming up on the far side of the course. Colonel Braxton on the outside of Fox Chapel King. First goal has made his first move now to go up, disputing third place. Harbour Pilots on his outside. Sackville, the pale green on the inner. Then the stripes of Brinkery and B for Salmon, very much in touch, although last of the seven as they face the first down the far side. Fence number 10 of 17. Colonel Braxton on the left of the picture, Fox Chapel King first gold, then Sackville and Harbour Pilot, Rinka Ree, only about six lengths covering the field, and B for Salmon very much in the race, although last is a race down now towards the next, fence number 11, Colonel Braxton on the outside of Fox Chapel King, first goal close in third, Harbour Pilot the outside, and then Sackville on the inner there, followed by Rinka Ree, and then B for Salmon as they go over that one, Colonel Braxton a fine leap, lands a length in front of Fox Chapel King, first goal tracks them in third. Sackville on the inside for Harbour Pilot close in fifth. Two lengths away is Rinka Ree. Three parts of a length behind him comes B for Salmon. Six from home an open ditch. Colonel Braxton again jumping really well today. Leads Fox Chapel King. First gold in third. Sackville on the inside. Then Harbour Pilot. Rinka Ree and uh, B for Salmon two lengths back as they come to the next plane fence. Five from home. Colonel Braxton the leader over from Fox Chapel King. Sackville. Harbour Pilot in four first goal on the outside of Rinka Ree and two lengths behind them Timmy Murphy still sitting quietly on B for Salmon as they go to the fourth last. Fox Chapel King the inside of Colonel Braxton, they jump together and this time Fox Chapel King the slight advantage from Colonel Braxton, Sackville third Harbour Pilot is four, Rinka Ree first goal and B for Salmon yet to be asked to close brings up the rear as they start the turn towards the final open ditch, the third last fence, Fox Chapel King in the hoops, the dark blue of Colonel Braxton, Sackville just behind them, Harbour Pilots on the inside, and then Rinka Ree, Harbour Pilot just a bit awkward there, first goal of B for Salmon makes his move now around the outside as they come now down towards the second last fence. Fox Chapel King, Colonel Braxton, Sackville, here comes B for Salmon and Harbour Pilot, Rinka Ree is dropped back, Fox Chapel King a bit untidy, B for Salmon lost a little bit of ground, first goal has dropped out to be last, but Colonel Braxton, the outsider of the party, leads them into the straight in the Ericsson chase, being chased in second place by Sackville, Fox Chapel King, Harbour Pilot, still travelling quite easily, is uh, B for Salmon as they straighten up now for the final fence, Colonel Braxton, Sackville, B for Salmon on the near side, Harbour Pilot the far side, then Fox Chapel King, down to the final fence now, Colonel Braxton, B for Salmon, travelling best on the near side, Harbour Pilot on the far side, they're over the last, Colonel Braxton, B for Salmon on the near side, Harbour Pilot and Fox Chapel King as they raise into the closing stages.
stages. Colonel Daxon on the far side, B for Salmon on the near side. The racing into the closing stages, it's B for Salmon in front. And racing up to the line, B for Salmon, who's certainly got a new star. He's going away to win this in great fashion at the line. It's B for Salmon, tight for second, Colonel Braxton, Harbour Pilot, Fox Chapel King for five is Sackville, and they're clear of uh, Rinkery and First Gold, who was uh, a big disappointment. He's last. But B for Salmon, the 5-1 to one winner under Timmy Murphy of the Ericsson Chase. Three runs over fences, three wins, and he's beaten the big boys again. His biggest test so far, 